pretty much. There he was, Vladimir Kramnik, world champion in this wonderful line uh, succession all the way back to Steinitz. But when Gary had gone uh, his own way with Nigel Short in 1993, uh, FIDE continued their world championships. So we had this schism, and there was Anatoly Karpov playing against the likes of Jan Timon, as Gata well Kamsky as Gata Kamsky in 1996. And then all hell broke out with his 128 player knockout matches. Get all kinds of champions. All kinds of champions. You bet. And somewhere by the year 2006, the FIDE had gone back to the Candidates Tournament World Championship. Essentially, eight players, best players in the world, double round robin, guy who wins it wins the World Championship, and that guy was. Veselin Topolov. Who played magnificently. Unbelievable. That. that was just absolutely incredible. Dynamic style. Right. Sacrificing exchanges boom, 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 like boom, it was boom. nothing for right. compensation and just effortlessly winning. It looks, I think he won six out of his first seven games. Yeah. So just the first try, half. Just killed people. Exactly. So, and in fact, I'm pretty close. I'm in the right ballpark. I believe he was number one player in the world. So now we had... Vladimir Kramnik, who had defended his match against Peter, his title against Peter Leko, saying, no, 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 I'm still the world classical world champion. And that's the FIDE guy. Uh, but the FIDE guy is legit. No, 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 no. This guy, Vessel and Topolov, is the real deal. And there ought to be a unification match. So in Elista, we dis uh, the, the FIDE decided to, to host a unification match between the two claimants. And let's go.